Every day, the Advanced Manufacturing Office at the Department of Energy is working hard to build cooperative partnerships that accelerate innovation for American manufacturing. In early 2014, AMO looked to its manufacturing demonstration facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee to collaborate on a revolutionary project that would display how 3D printing has come of age. No longer just a tabletop novelty, 3D printing has moved from prototypes to the real factory floor. The 3D printed car project was really an outgrowth out of a team that was put together to take on a very difficult challenge. This was a Manhattan style project. We had six months to develop a technology to print out a car. This is one of those moments where they came up and said, we set a big goal and they set the goal. They said, failure is not an option on this. We're not sure how we're going to get there. We know it's possible to get there. We're seeing large-scale additive manufacturing um, well beyond the scope and scale of anything that's ever been done before. Well, it's been an incredibly fast pace of innovation. Normally a machine tool would take several years to develop. This is probably the most aggressive time scale I've ever seen in the evolution of a new product. It's hard to believe that by fall, this amazing team effort would succeed in designing and printing a working electric car. The main message of this project is we can be very, very fast. Six months to radically change how we manufacture cars. It shows the real benefit of having these public-private partnerships. So this project wouldn't have been possible without AMO's support. And this is a new entry of a U.S.-based added manufacturing company. So it's a very exciting time. The industry partners were Cincinnati Incorporated, a 115-year-old industrial machine manufacturer in Ohio, and Local Motors in Arizona, an innovative small manufacturer specializing in crowdsourced design and engineering. The challenge was to develop a large-scale additive manufacturing machine using carbon fiber reinforced plastic to print the car. The collaboration to build this car is an incredible group of talent. We've got some of the best design capability in the world through the open source design platform that Local Motors brings to the project. We've got some of the best minds in additive manufacturing in the world at Oak Ridge National Labs, MDF. And we've got one of the best machine tool builders in the world at Cincinnati Incorporated. By bringing the, the different partners together as part of the ecosystem, getting them all under one roof and working together as one team, we're going to see barriers to innovation dropping left and right. But it is a partnership that is based in risk taking. For all the participants in the September manufacturing demonstration, the significance of what happened live, layer by layer, in front of tens of thousands of people in Chicago cannot be overstated. This team understood that it was bigger than just 3D printing. It was about direct digital manufacturing. So to them, they were willing to combine the additive manufacturing that was being built on the Cincinnati machine and the subtractive manufacturing that's being done by the large scale router and the way in which we're putting these parts together from various component players. That whole ecosystem made it possible to make it on time. I think this 3D printed car project really demonstrates the beauty and the power of bringing together disparate elements from a variety of domains. The partners here have people coming up and saying, how do I move this into production in 2014? That's pretty practical. There's an incredible amount of technology and expertise involved in our national labs. And our national labs are a really good way to get involved and bring that to small industry to help small business become more competitive. The U.S. manufacturing sector is the most innovative and productive manufacturing sector in the world. It's really exciting to see this injection of new technology to take that to the next level. This is rapid innovation. This is the way it should be done. What is the true value of government investments in advanced manufacturing? A future that is sustainable, energy efficient, powered by innovation, and American-made.